says it's setting it up. Oh, I better let Anne in. Hey, I think it's here. All right, we are live and I am gonna kick off the recording. All right, Hi, Anne. recording. Hi, Hi Anne, welcome. Thank you. It's time for another Oily Fireside Chat. We missed you last week. I missed you guys too. But it looks like you had a wonderful vacation. We did. We did. It was so awesome being able to snuggle those grandbabies. Oh, I bet. Yeah, we had such a fun time. <laughs> so we are here. You missed it last week, and We started talking about the um, some of the Vitality Oils that are in the August promo. And we, just me and Tessa. Oh, and we had a guest teacher uh we did. Teacher, and um we only got through black pepper and mountain savory last week so we're talking the rest of the august promo oils this nice week. um so we will kick this off shortly a few housekeeping items like always um Anne and Tessa, if you want to share this on your page, you might have some people who want to view it. And so just a friendly reminder there. Already done. Um, awesome. Already done. <laughs> For those of you who might be joining us on Zoom or wanting to join us on Zoom weekly, the replays of this class will be posted as a public video on YouTube. And we don't want anyone feeling uncomfortable about having their face um, or voice publicly available on YouTube. So those of you who pop on to Zoom and want to catch us that way, I have it set up so that you are muted and your cameras are disabled unless you are one of our fabulous co-hosts here. Um, if you have a question you'd like us to answer, um, just post it in the comments live. I'm kind of watching both of my screens here and Tessa will watch hers and Anna will watch hers. We'll do our best to answer um, live if we can, but if not, we definitely check those comments and we'll do our research uh, afterwards if it's not something that we know off the top of our head. Um, so don't be afraid to post any of your questions in the comments. We promise we'll get to all of them. And um, we love natural health. We love plant therapy and the powerful plant juices that are essential oils. And we love teaching classes and teaching others about how we're using oils. So um, we so appreciate your support of our small businesses by sharing our video, by inviting friends to these oily fireside chats. And whenever you share our posts and you like and you comment and you engage with us, it helps um, others to see our, um, our content and that makes us super happy. You're totally doing us a favor and we just really appreciate it. For prizes, we're going to do things um, a little bit different this time. Um, we are, instead of doing two drawings, because the same names are always kind of in the same drawings, we're going to um, do double entries for those who are watching us live. Um, not everyone can catch us live. And so those who are commenting and liking and sharing, um, you will get an entry on our prize wheel and we'll draw prizes at the end of class. So that way those who pop on live get a chance. Um, to have their name entered onto the wheel. So as we get started, make sure you pop on and say hi. Tell us where you're watching from. And if you're watching the replay, comment replay so we can get an idea of um, who's catching us live and who is not. And just like last week, I think it'd be fun to kick off the week with some celebration. So why don't you tell us in the comments something wonderful that you did or something amazing that happened to you this week and we will tell you our celebration. So I'm gonna shut up and let somebody else talk about their celebration first.
Tessa Ann, do either of you have a win? Are you thinking? I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> well, I can go first because I have one. I have a good one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You go first. <laughs> okay. So um, those of you may have heard me talk about what kind of kicked off my oils journey really was um, starting to clean up my diet quite a bit. And I did that by following the Trim Healthy Mama uh, lifestyle plan. And it's been on my heart for a couple of years now to help coach others learn this plan. And I took a leap of faith. Uh, I really wrestled with would I make a good coach um, and talked to a bunch of friends and prayed about it. And um, I'm super excited to say that I took a leap of faith. I studied the book, I took the test and I passed this week. I am now officially a certified Yay. Trim Healthy Mama lifestyle coach. And so that is Yay. my big win. I'm super excited about that. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank yeah, you. congrats. Thank you. It's totally changed my life and I hope to help other um, women and men if they um, choose to follow that plan as well, change their life. It's just been amazing. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, can you check? Emily is messaging me. She's trying to get in. Can you check if she's in the Zoom chat? Yep, she just popped up on my screen. I just let her Okay. In. Okay, perfect. Um, Anne, did you think of a win or should I come up with something? Um, well, <clears throat> I've kind of had, um, you know, between being on vacation and, you know, spending some much needed time with the grandkids and Janelle and Tim and um, we just needed a time to recharge. And I really think that that happened, um, over our vacation. And, um, so that, and, you know, and then, you know, today, today was my birthday. I'm 29 again. Happy birthday. <laughs> Every year I'm just 29 again. Just keep that going. You know, Happy I wouldn't birthday. have guessed it day over 24, <laughs> but you know, it's <laughs> funny because people will ask me, you know, Oh, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, mm, you know, I really had everything I really wanted just being able to spend time with the grandkids. That was my, I'm like, you don't need to get me anything. You know, I, I just, that isn't me. I'm, you know, I'm past that point. I'd much rather be able to spend time with family. So um, and we, we were able to have yet another little birthday party for Isaiah um, because we, we weren't able to be there for his, his regular birthday party in July. Um, and I felt really horrible about it. So we had our own little separate birthday party for him. And he was just beaming because that meant he had three birthday parties. Um, so that made this grandma really, really, really happy to see. Um, and of course, you know, doing oils and, you know, having the kids say, grandma, what oil are you going to wear today? You know, it's just, it's just so sweet. Um, so that's awesome. a celebration. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Uh, Emily, you just jumped on. We're sharing wins for this week. So if you have one, you can share one. Otherwise, don't feel put on the spot. I can share something. Um, a win for the week. I reached out for help. I am horrible at asking people for help. And I am overwhelmed by how disastrous my house is. My in-laws are supposed to be coming this weekend. They were going to be coming Friday night through Saturday and Sunday. And I asked if they could come on Thursday and, and if they could take the girls during the day when Luke's at work so that I can do, we never just, um, I, we were doing home improvement projects. Like we pretty much remodeled the entire bathroom. So I never did spring cleaning this year. It's just been like maintenance cleaning up after this project and maintenance cleaning up after that project and trying to keep on top of the weekly grime. So my house for an OCD individual feels horrifically disgusting. So I reached out for help to my in-laws and asked them to take the girls for a day so that I can clean. So for someone who doesn't ask for help, that was a big deal. 
That's uh, that's a big win, actually. You know what I mean? That's like kind of uh, breaking through a barrier. So awesome. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> my win is actually very similar to that. <laughs> um, I was at my parents' house for the last few days, helping my mom completely redo, like reorganize and sort through all of her stuff in her sewing room, which was fabric, um, some stamp stuff, some office supplies, projects that have already been started and kind of in flux and it was it was a job but it was fun it was it's always easier when it's not your own stuff so I'm like the opposite of you there Tessa. <laughs> totally agree with that I love to organize other people's stuff but not always my stuff okay well we are gonna jump right in um I have my diffuser going this week uh, with the same blend I had last week because I was so good at staying on task last week. Usually I'm kind of all over the place. I've got Genius going and I added lavender to it and it smells so awesome. Um, does anyone mind if I kick it off? I, As we were sharing our wins, I was getting some of those weird... Um, slow talking feedback and so just in case my internet um, craps out I'd love to get mine out of the way so um, I'm sharing about time in coriander tonight um, I was excited to research these oils because they are ones that I don't use very often um, or know very much about. And now that I've learned a bunch of stuff about them, I'm definitely going to use them more. So I'm going to start with thyme. And remember, um, the thyme vitality oil is one of the free August promos. I think it's the one at 100 PV, isn't it? Yes. Um, so if you place an order uh, for 100 PV this month, you'll get time for free. And that's pretty awesome. So time is steam distilled from the leaves, stems and flowers of the herb. Um, it's it can also be known as red time. So if you're researching it, you may see it referred to as red time. I found this interesting. It is Time was mentioned in one of the oldest known medical records called the Ebers Papyrus, which dated back to 16th century BC. And this medical record listed 877 prescriptions and recipes, and time was one of them. The Egyptians used time for embalming, and it's also listed in one of Europe, um, in Europe's first authoritative guide to medicines which um, dates back to AD, I have 78 here. I don't know if that's accurate, but it was the standard reference work for herbal treatments for over 1700 years. So uh, people have been using time for a long time. Uh, medical properties of the herb, it's anti-aging, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, highly antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiparasitic. Those are some pretty uh, powerful properties. And a fun fact for you, a solution of thyme's most active ingredient, which is called thymol, is used in over-the-counter products like mouthwash and vapor rubs because of its purifying agents. So you are getting one of Time's active ingredients by some of the stuff you're just buying at the drugstore. Um, time, the herb, has historically been used for infectious diseases, cardiovascular diseases, Alzheimer's disease, and hepatitis. And the fragrant influence of the oil is that it may be beneficial in helping to overcome fatigue and exhaustion after illness. We've been hearing a lot about some of those bugs going around that just make you really tired and um, just diffusing this oil might help you to get a little bit more energy after a bout with a sickness. Um, it's been thought to increase intelligence and aid in concentration and it is uplifting and can help to relieve um, when you are feeling down. I want to talk a little bit about safety of time. Um, I sent out some prizes to some people on my team, lemon thyme um, air fresheners. And I noticed that 
the scent of the thyme was very strong. I, I used about one drop of that to three drops of lemon. And interestingly enough, when I was reading about the safety of thyme, I learned that it may irritate your nasal membranes or skin, or skin if you inhale it directly from the diffuser or the bottle, or if you apply it neat. So you're gonna wanna dilute this oil for, um, Users ages seven and up, the recommended dilution ratio is one to four. So one part, one drop time for four drops carrier oil. For um, children ages two to six, your dilution ratio is gonna need to be at least one to 10. And for infants, um, zero to one, at least a dilution ratio of one to 20. Uh, mild caution with this oil if you're pregnant, caution if you're hypertensive, and you should not use time internally for children under six. Um, some of the blends that contain time, I only had one listed and that's longevity. So time's pretty awesome. Um, I have a recipe that uses time the herb and it's so delicious <clears throat> and the oil smells a lot like it. Um, next, I'm going to hop over to coriander. Um, unlike thyme, which uses a lot of parts of the plant, coriander is just steam distilled from the seeds. Um, some fun facts that I learned about coriander. The oil has been researched at Cairo University for its effects in lowering glucose and insulin levels and supporting pancreatic function. So I thought that's interesting that they're doing research about that. Um, coriander has also been studied for its effects in strengthening the pancreas. Um, another fun fact, coriander seeds were found in the ancient tomb of Ramses II. Medical properties of coriander, it's anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, sedative, analgesic, antimicrobial, antifungal, and it's a liver protectant. Um, coriander has been used in helping to treat diabetes, helping with arthritis, helping with intestinal problems, helping with skin conditions, and because of its estrogen content, it may help um, regulate and help control discomfort related to menstruation. So that was interesting as well. When you diffuse coriander, the fragrant influence is that it is soothing and calming. It can be a gentle stimulant for those who have low physical energy. So just like time, it's helping to energize you a little bit as well. It can help um, relax you during times of stress, irritability, or nervousness. And it may provide a calming influence to those suffering from shock or fear. And I found that really interesting. Um, time, or sorry, coriander can be used to support your stomach. And I found a rollerball recipe using coriander, um, just contained 50 drops of orange, which Anne's gonna talk about later on, 25 drops of bergamot and 25 drops of coriander, put that in a roller bottle and you can roll it right over the stomach for support in that area. And there is a whole host of blends that use coriander. And the reason I like to include the blends that use a particular oil, is because you may have noticed the Young Living um, names of their blends tell you a little bit about what they do. And so I find it interesting to list those blends so you can get an understanding of the properties of the oil. Um, acceptance, Awaken, Believe, Build Your Dream, Clarity, Faith, Family, Field, Finance, Forgiveness, and Friends. Those are a lot of the ULA that are discontinued. Um, Genius, which I am diffusing tonight. Gentle Baby, one of my favorites for at night. Harmony, Humility, Inspiration, Joy. Lady Scleriol, I think that's how you say that. Magnify Your Purpose, Ula Grow, Ula Balance, Reconnect, Sensation, Shutran, Tea Away, which is from the Pet Sense line. Uh, White Angelica, Celebration, and Seedlings Calm. That's what I have on coriander. If anyone has any questions about coriander or thyme, pop them in the comments. I'll kind of be watching. Um, but other than that, we can move on to our next oil. Okay, I'll, I'll go next. Um, that list of oils that you um, just listed with the blends, 
I think there were only two out of that whole thing that I don't have. <laughs> I know I had a lot of them too. I'm like, I must like the fragrance yeah. of coriander. <laughs> yeah, we must because I'm like, oh, yep, have that one, have that one. So that's really cool um, that you in include that. Um, so I'm going to be highlighting orange. Orange is one of my favorite go-tos. I'm kind of like the the person that will grab a blend and go, hmm, I wonder if we add some orange to it, what it would what it would smell like in the diffuser. And so like Northern Lights, Black Spruce and Orange is awesome. I love putting those two together. Um, it just, I mean, Northern Lights, Black Spruce is already invigorating. You add some orange to it and oh yeah, we got some energy going. So, um, but as I was kind of digging in and researching um, the orange vitality oil, I found that, you know, orange trees are native to Asia, um, but you can find them obviously all over the world, including in France, Germany, and of course, the United States. Um, the fragrant orange tree is an evergreen flowering tree that grows to approximately 33 feet and has sweet smelling blossoms. Orange essential oil is cold pressed from the rinds of the fresh juicy fruit. Um, it is, um, you know, it has a bright, fresh citrus flavor. And that's probably why I'm kind of drawn. I, I kind of like all the citrus oils, but the orange one in particular, I'm really drawn to that one. Um, I just, it's just something about it that I just, I'm like, ooh, put some orange in there. <laughs> It'll be great. Um, so, <clears throat> I've tried it, trying it in, in baked goods, which I haven't done a whole lot with, but I'm like, hmm, maybe I might want to do that. I think that would be um, kind of a interesting little adventure for myself that I can share with, with others. Um, <clears throat> but when you combine it like with the warm spices like cardamom and clove to enhance them, it's just fabulous. I love I love fall. That's really when I really start putting like clove and cinnamon and nutmeg and all those together. And then I throw in some orange because it just, it just enhances, you know, I like whenever we have somebody come to the house, you know, that they walk through the door and they're, they feel very welcome, you know, without me saying one word, they, they are like, oh, it just feels so welcoming and warm in here. And because I have, you know, Brazilian diffusers going um, <clears throat> that, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, this is, this is an, a, 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 an overwhelming um, oil for them. You know, I want them to feel um, very welcomed and kind of fuzzy all over, no pun intended. Um, but <laughs> it also blends beautifully with other fruity, fruity flavors um, like smoothies, juices, Ninja Red, you can throw some of it in Ninja Red. Um, right now I'm, I'm actually out of Ninja Red, kind of, kind of on purpose because I was away on vacation. I didn't want it to come when I was away, but it's, it's on its way, you know, so I'll be all right. Um, and it contains the naturally occurring uh, constituent uh, lime, limozine. Um, it helps to enhance the flavor of foods and water so if you haven't tried any oils in your water, like lemon or lime or orange, you really, you really need to. Um, I'm kind of one of those people that I don't mind drinking regular water, no problem, but you add something to it, oh yeah, I'm gonna drink a lot more of it. Um, so, so that's been kind of a, a challenge for me. It's like, oh, what, which one should I try today? You know, grapefruit is wonderful, um, but this, Oil also has antioxidant properties and can provide immune system support, which we're always looking for immune system support. And it also cleanses the digestive system. Um, I really, as Rose mentioned earlier, um, about kind of taking a look at our internal health, stomach, digestive, all of those things, um, it really, I too have kind of readjusted what I'm consuming, how much of different things that I'm consuming. And what I'm finding is the more I <clears throat> kind of rely on 
some of these oils and just changing up, you know, kind of not eliminating my carbs completely, but just changing up what I'm consuming. It's really making a huge difference in my digestive system, how everything functions. Uh, my body is definitely a very, very happy body. Um, so like I said, you can, you know, you can use it in things that you bake or cook or put in your water. You can diffuse it with, you can diffuse it by itself. You can diffuse it with other blends um, if you so choose. Um, smoothies are great. Just, you know, get that antioxidant properties in your body, um, whether you're inhaling it, in, you know, drinking it, however you do it, just make sure you do it. Um, but orange is one of my, my favorites. And I actually made up what I like to call um, sunshine, sunshine in a bottle. It's a little roller ball. It's got orange and joy in it. And it will be given away later as one of the prizes. Ooh, exciting. Not that. <laughs> prizes. <laughs> all right, that's all I have. I just want to add to your comment about baking. Um, Tessa and I had an essential oils class at my house and I made a whole bunch of Trim Healthy Mama kind of compliant goodies because I didn't want to stray too much from my diet. And um, one of the uh, desserts or treats I like to make, which is super healthy and I even eat it for breakfast a lot, is um, a low carb cram sugar-free cranberry pie. Um, you cannot tell it's low carb. You cannot tell that it is sugar-free. And when you put some drops of orange oil in there, it takes that recipe to the next level. It was so good. And most fall is coming up. So you might be baking with cranberries. A lot of recipes call for orange zest, which let's be honest, is a pain in the butt to try and harvest. So you can, because the orange oil is made from the rinds of the orange, you can skip zesting altogether and just put a drop or two or more of orange oil in your recipe and it works awesome. It's so good. Now I'm going to have to bake cranberry orange bread. I know. <laughs> That's actually what I was just about to suggest. I was like, hey, have you tried cranberry orange bread? It's really good. <laughs> um, yeah. There's also a THM recipe called uh, Berry Whip. And I like it. Our raspberries and blackberries are coming in. Our raspberries are at the end of their season, but the blackberries are coming in full bore right now. And if you add a drop of orange to that, oh, that's incredible as well. So mm -hmm. lots of things to do with orange vitality. Um, I hope you all can't hear Karis, her bedroom is right above me and she's screaming because daddy won't let her brush her teeth with kid sense toothpaste again for like the fourth time this evening. So I hope you can't hear her throwing a, a temper tantrum, but we love kid sense toothpaste around here. She wants her toothpaste. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> I have parsley. So this was a very interesting oil to research because none of my printed research materials had it in there. It's a relatively new oil. Um, it, it was released this year for convention, right? Or was it like, it was this year. Okay. <sighs> I feel like I've lived three years just in 2020, right? Um, <laughs> so none of my printed materials had any info on this oil. So I had to go to the internet. Now the internet is a little um, not FDA compliant whatsoever. So I had to take a piece here and a piece there and kind of like piecemeal all of my info together. So again, like the last couple of weeks, I will be talking about the plant and not so much the oil and you can infer and extrapolate what you want. I'm going to be giving some history about the plant and how they historically used the plant to treat things. Um, but that was previous to the oil from what I could gather. Um, so again, talking about the plant and then I'll get, I'll try to get into some stuff specific to the oil. So bear with me. I'm using all different resources this evening than what I'm used to. <laughs> My research was totally thrown off game. 
All right, so parsley is native to the Mediterranean region. Typically, you think of Italy and Italian foods when you think of parsley. It is now grown in gardens worldwide. It is a very versatile culinary herb. In culinary applications, you want fresh picked parsley. That's what's preferred. You simply wash the leaves and stems. You chop it up into small pieces and sprinkle it over the dish before serving, or you take a parsley stem with the leaves and use it as a garnish. Um, parsley oil, is extracted from the seeds, the roots, and the leaves of the plant. The seeds usually contain more essential oils, although the entire plant can be used for making the oil. Parsley oil is either colorless or a very pale yellow, and it has a more bitter scent compared to that of the fresh plant. So uses of parsley, we're going back to the plant, not the oil. In industrial applications, parsley can be used as an ingredient for soaps, cosmetics, detergents, colognes, and perfumes, but typically it's found in your men's fragrances as opposed to women's. I think probably because it's more earthy and, or and herbaceous, so I would think that's more of a male thing. Um, it has aromatherapeutic uses and was historically used to treat various illnesses, including jaundice and malaria. The plant has antibacterial and antifungal properties that can help with pimples, acne, and skin infections, as well as infected pores. Parsley was used, it was massaged into the scalp to help prevent hair loss. Um, parsley was traditionally used in making tea for treating gallstones and dysentery, trusted as a powerful Carminative, the leaves, seeds, and roots and parsley were used in treating numerous digestive problems. Digestion seems to be like the order of the day with almost all of these oils tonight, we come back to the digestive system. Um, so numerous digestive problems, including diarrhea, ulcers, flatulence, and chronic pain. The juice extracted from the roots of this plant was used in folklore medicine as a diuretic and for treating kidney disorders like kidney stones. So that's like historical medicine. I couldn't find any dates like Rose did. I'm not really sure. Like it mentioned being in pharmacological things, maybe the same ones Rose's were in, um, but I couldn't find any dates to correlate with that. So um, according to prohealth.com, parsley oil, and this they do talk about the oil. So again, I don't know if this is FDA compliant. It's from prohealth.com, um, but the plant, and they talk about parsley oil, exhibits antimicrobial, antiseptic, astringent, carminative, digestive, diuretic, and detoxifying properties. It can be used for various health ailments, such as infections. Parsley can help kill microbes and inhibit their growth, protecting you from various infections and diseases. Rheumatism and arthritis, these are diseases that result from obstructed, obstructed blood circulation and the accumulation of uric acid in the muscles and joints. Parsley helps to detox, detoxify your body of toxins and it refreshes your blood. It also increases circulation, which helps relieve pain brought on by these ailments. For digestive issues, parsley's carminative properties can help relieve and treat ingestion, nausea, flatulence, vomiting, and stomach aches. For animal studies, they have found that parsley's potent vile volatile oils, so like that goes back to the essential oils, particularly my, my rosatin may help inhibit tumor formation, especially in the lungs. So that means that parsley and its essential oil potentially have chemoprotective properties. So that last part with the animal studies from prohealth.com is really strikes home for me because my grandmother had lung cancer when I was a little kid. So the fact that for animals, parsley can inhibit tumor formation in the lungs, like I need to get me some parsley oil. So that, that's my thought, or I need to eat like parsley by the handfuls. I don't know, but I need parsley in my life. Um, and then this is something I found that was really fun and interesting. The ancient Egyptians used parsley, as did the Greeks, who crowned their victorious soldiers with wreaths of it. Um, so the, the laurel leaves were specific to the Olympics, so I knew about that. But parsley was for victorious soldiers. So like that was kind of a cool, there was a difference. I was like, what? Seriously? But they, they wreath crowned people all the time apparently 
So Hercules um, was crowned after killing the Nemelian lion and therefore victors of the Nemelian and the Ishmana games would do the same. They believed that parsley had grown from the blood of a hero. Ar Archimorus and Homer tell of victories won by charioteers whose horses had renowned vigor after eating parsley. Parsley grew on Sicurli's lawn in the Odyssey. So if you've read the book The Odyssey by Homer, you know a little bit about parsley already. I thought it was cool, like the victories won by horses who ate parsley. Like, I don't know, I thought that was cool. So horses can benefit from parsley too, who knew? So that's what I was able to find on our new Vitality Oil. Exciting. Um, and of course, parsley is always on the side of all our plates when you go to a restaurant, right? So, mm -hmm. yep. and a little slice of orange, usually. Usually, yeah. It's the only thyme and coriander are left out. <laughs> um, okay, so that finishes up. It kind of wraps up our August promos. So you can get all of those oils for free. Thyme, Parsley, black pepper, coriander, mountain savory, orange, six of them you can get for free depending on how much you order within the month. Um, I looked at the value of all the free stuff and it was like once you reach 400 it was almost $300 free. So it's like getting your stuff for half off when you think about how much stuff you're getting. Those promos are pretty um, super. Plus all the <laughs> rewards points you get back when you're doing ER. You get yeah. rewards points for free stuff. Yes, exactly. So if you're not on ER, um, you should be on ER because it's the most budget friendly way to shop. And um, if you haven't been ordering to the levels to get these free oils, you might want to uh, boost some of your friends to see if they can hop on your order with you so you can get some free stuff and order some stuff for them at the same time with you. <clears throat> um, I was just browsing through. I don't see any questions. I see some fun celebrations. Uh, Sue celebrated her granddaughter's birthdays, 10 years old and five years old. Happy birthday to them. Carol's watching us from her camper up north in Amberg. So I'm so jealous of that. And also thank you for being loyal and watching our fireside chat. Um, and Anne, it looks like Debbie, Sue and Carol all told you happy birthday, so. Um, should we do our wheel spin, our prize? Um, Anne has a prize that I'm jealous of. I thought about adding my name to the oil, or to the wheel so that I could win it. Are you adding live viewers to the wheel? Yes. Yeah, so what I have is I added everyone who commented, shared, and liked from last week. And um, then I added our live viewers tonight. So some of you, actually, maybe all of you have two, no, a couple, one of you, or two of you don't, but most of you have two entries on the prize. So you have a better chance of winning because you caught us live and then for your engagement from last week. Let me see. I can see that Jasmine is watching live on mine. I don't know if you can see that on okay. yours. Okay, I cannot. So, Anne, do you have anyone watching live that I should add? No? Anyone else, Tessa? You've got Emily, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> nope, that's it. Just Jasmine and Emily on my end. <laughs> okay. we got a big wheel tonight. All right. So, let's see if I can... All right, are you able to see the prize wheel? Okay, lucky winner gets this roller ball. Ooh, Charlene. Charlene won the other week. She's really super lucky. So, um, and I have Charlene's address that I can Perfect. send to you. Um, Otherwise, Charlene, if you want to send it to Anne, you're welcome to do that too. So congratulations, Charlene. You're going to love the roller. It smells awesome. Oh, yes, it does. I'm going, mm. I know. I love Joy and I love Orange. Joy's on my next month ER because I just ran out. <laughs> yeah, I've got like this much. Oh, like, oh, it must be time to use some ER point. Oh, that stuff's like gold. <laughs> 
Okay, well, we are going to wrap it up and we'll see you right here next time. Uh, if you have any requests for topics for next week, put them in the comments and we'll review them. Uh, we're looking for topics for next week's class. If there's anything you want to know about, post it there and we'll do our best to accommodate that. So we'll see you next week, same place, same time, 8 Central Standard Time on either of our Facebook groups or in the event you can join us on Zoom. All right. See you awesome. later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.